Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today we've got the Jacksonville Dolphins hosting the 25th ranked Florida International Golden Panthers. They are 1-0 on the season. The Jacksonville Dolphins are 0-1, and, and they're really struggling so far. They kind of beat themselves last game against the Northwestern State Demons. They only scored 10 points. Here and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Even though the sun is set, the temperature hasn't decreased for tonight's game between the Florida Eagle Golden Panthers and the Dolphins. We're ready to bring you what should be one intense football game. And here come the Dolphins. The Golden Panthers come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? Florida International has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blow on here. Nice pick. The Golden Panthers will win this game. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. The pregame routine just wouldn't be the same without that prediction. Now let's get the coin talk. So the guys don't like the Dolphins' chances here, and I don't like their chances either in this game after their performance last week. And here's Johnson with a huge run here up to the 39-yard line. Great play. But I got FIU winning this game 38-28 over Jacksonville. I think the Dolphins will get some offense going here today. I hope. Their defense isn't starting out too hot, though. But they do get a stop on third down. Is Walters, the middle linebacker. They're going to go for it. Fourth and inches, and Fox is sacked. They count that as an option pass play. And that was Pedersen's first career sack from the safety spot. Third and 11 here for Michael Ayer. Hines taking a shot. Left side, deflected and picked off by Colvin. And he's going to get it up to the 45-yard line. Not a good start for the offense. They've been beating themselves so far. And here's the nice completion to Walker. Nice little screen pass up to the 23-yard line. But head coach Marvin Joseph after the loss last week to Northwestern State as FIU gets a touchdown here said, To say this loss was disappointing would be an understatement. We're certainly going to need to work on a lot of things going into the next game. He won't place any blame on any single aspect of our performance. But my players are certainly going to learn some lessons from this and hopefully apply that to our next game. Well, the players aren't really uh, listening to their coach at all right here. But they do get a nice play to Deshaun Harris on a screen pass. And he'll get this all the way up to the 24-yard line. A great run after the catch for him. But if the Dolphins can stop the takeaways here as they throw another pick and Hines is being held right there they're not going to call it and Williams is going to take this one all the way so a nightmare start for the Dolphins definitely not how Marvin Joseph wanted his team to start off today's game down 12 nothing here FIU did miss the extra point after their first touchdown so there's a, a bright spot for the Dolphins Hines pressured takes off uses that speed to get maybe 12 yards that gets him over 100 yards for the season, and Jukes McGee is stuffed for a big loss. Johnson up the middle, breaking a tackle. He'll pick up 10 yards. The Dolphins only had 266 yards of offense last week. There's a nice completion to Douglas, and what a hit by Pedersen. But only 104 passing yards last week as Pedersen comes up for a nice tackle for a loss. He's got 16 tackles and one sack this season. And the Dolphins had 162 on the ground last week. But they allowed 313 yards on the ground by the Northwestern State Demons. And there is a field goal attempt. The kick is to the right. Just pushed it. So another miss by the kicker. He missed an extra point and a field goal so far. Mr. Air Canada running out left side. Takes off and he gets absolutely throttled at the end of the run. Jukes McGee. Direct snap, gets it up to the 40 yard line, his best run of the day. Dolphins with 54 yards on the ground. Hines over the middle, picked off again by Kaplan this time, one of the safeties. That's a third interception of the half. And Pedersen should have had a pick there. Freeman makes the catch. Pedersen just misjudged the ball. Fox audibling. He's gonna throw it over the middle, caught by Walker. 
And he's going to take this one all the way. Just takes a short pass the distance. Terrible tackling attempt by the Dolphins. That'll make it 20 to nothing here in Jacksonville, Florida. And Michael Hines gets up to the 45-yard line. He is a phenomenal runner. He just needs to get the passing game situated. And there's a fumble by Deshaun Harris recovered by the Golden Panthers. Another turnover. That is the fourth turnover of this half. And that was a vicious hit. Fox play action. Freeman wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, FIU. And they're pouring it on here in the Dolphins' uh, second home game of the season. They have yet to do anything in front of their home crowd. There's a nice catch by Lawson, the slot receiver, though. Second and four. Hines, right side, wide open. Mr. Highlight, he'll get it up to the 50-yard line. Hines in the shotgun, third and ten. Taking a shot, deflected, almost caught. But the Dolphins will have to punt the ball away again. Going deep right side. Pedersen should have had another interception there. Just missed it. Hines all day to throw it. And a nice completion to Harris when he has enough time to throw the football. And he will complete some nice passes downfield. Well, last week he was sacked five times and pressured a whole bunch more. And he's going to take off again here and pick up another first down using his feet. 76 yards today. He had 82 last week with one touchdown. Hines on the option again here. Juke, Jukes McGee <laughs> with a nine-yard run. Hines rolling out left side. Passes it out to McGee, and he is taken down for a loss of four yards. And that will bring on the field goal unit as they look to get on the board, and they will 27-3. 47 seconds to go here in the second quarter on the ensuing kickoff. Goodwin boots it deep, and that's not very deep at all. To the 13-yard line, Douglas up the middle, bouncing around, weaving in and out of traffic, untouched. He's going to take this one the distance. About an 87-yard return, and it is. That'll make it 34-3. And just a very poor performance here from the Dolphins. And Hines is going to throw it up, deflected away, and picked off again, this time by Gonzalez, the safety. And he'll get it up to the 26-yard line and tack on five more yards for the face mask. And they actually only give him two yards on that. That's kind of unusual. Fox, eight seconds left, pass deflected away, and that'll bring up fourth and ten. Field goal unit on the field again. They will make this one. It'll be 37-3 to going into the half, and the home crowd is letting the Dolphins hear it. Hines taking a deep shot. No, that was actually Golden coming in to play some quarterback, the backup quarterback. And that was a deep bomb to Marshall for the big pickup. Golden, quick pass right side. Lawson, he'll pick up 9 or 10 yards. Marvin Joseph has apparently seen enough of Michael Hines today. And Golden pitches it out again. McGee to the 15-yard line. He's got 24 yards on six carries today. Second and 10. Golden taking a shot to the end zone. Christian Hart comes down with his first career receiving touchdown. And what a pass. That was beautiful. Hart had two catches, 14 yards last week and one tackle. And today, he gets the first touchdown of the day for the Dolphins. Fox taking a shot left side. Freeman's got it. And he's taken down by Davidson at the 39-yard line. Freeman up to 99 yards on six receptions. Fox, right side, should have been deflected away by Pedersen. He just misjudged it, but he will get his eighth tackle of the game. Fox, left side, caught by Irby, breaking a tackle from Malik Bean, and he is in the end zone for another FIU Golden Panther touchdown. 43 to 10, the kicker missed another extra point as Deshaun Harris makes a fantastic diving catch. Complete body extension right there. First down. Now third and 14. Later on in the drive. Golden hit as he throws it. Deflected away. And he wanted Harris again. Goodwin on the punt. And he got all of that one. He out punted the coverage. And that's going to cost him a punt return for a touchdown. As Douglas has the blazing speed. My goodness. 49 to 10. After an 81-yard punt return for a touchdown, they did miss another extra point, and Golden gets sacked back at the 10-yard line. 
Third sack of the season for the left end, Roach. And at this point, uh, this game is way out of hand, so we're just going to show you guys some of the, the best plays from the rest of the game. As Golden gets sacked and fumbles it, NFIU recovers at the two-yard line. Just so many turnovers in this game, and I'm not even going to show all of them to you because it gets so ridiculous. Touchdown FIU, 55 to 10. They miss another extra point. This kicker was god awful. And there's Zane Williams getting his first career sack from the linebacker spot. Pretty much comes through unblocked. Thompson in at quarterback. These are the backups. Art is uh, crushed and fumbles it. That was Malik Bean with the forced fumble. And Davidson's going to recover this, and he's going to take it to the house. That'll make it 55 to 17. 74 yard fumble return for a touchdown. A nice little scoop and score. And here is Mr. Air Canada taking off again. Nice spin move. What a move. Gets past the 40, past the 30, out of bounds at the 27 yard line. And that is going to do it. 58 to 17. The Golden Panthers would kick another little field goal there. And I just don't know what to say to this, guys. Just wait until you see the stats. Because there's turnovers that I did not show you. And this game was just so ugly, so out of hand, so quickly. And Jacksonville just seems to be fighting themselves on offense. They can't get anything going. 366 yards, sacked six times. And 10 turnovers today. A bunch of fumbles. And I think... Michael Hines throws seven interceptions today, and I didn't think you guys would want to see all that. A lot of deflected passes that just went right to the safeties and corners for FIU. Just everything was going their way, and nothing was going Jacksonville's way at all today. The only thing Jacksonville did fantastic today was the run defense. They only allowed 17 yards on the ground, and Michael Hines did in fact throw seven interceptions today. So he now has zero touchdown passes on the season to go along with nine interceptions. Hopefully, once we see some uh, weaker competition, he will improve because that's not going to get it done for these Dolphins. Christian Hart, one catch, 15 yards, and a touchdown today. And no drops until you see Deshaun Harris. He had two of them. Offensive line, of course, is awful. Marcus Pedersen with nine tackles today. Malik Bean with four. Zane Williams, three tackles, all for a loss. Two sacks today. He was balling out. Mr. Highlight, wide receiver, gets a couple tackles. Pedersen with two tackles for a loss. One sack from that safety uh, position. A couple deflections, I believe, too. Yep, two deflections. Davidson had one deflection. Sean Harris had one. And Malik Bean had another. And there's Allen Davidson, the 6'2", 180-pound cornerback with a 74-yard fumble return for a touchdown. There were some nice highlight plays here for the Dolphins, just not too many and definitely not enough to beat anyone this season. They're 0-2 on the year after this loss. Not looking so good right now. Ranked 116th in the nation. They're not going to move up at all. But here are the top three players for both teams. And our next Jacksonville Dolphins game will be in two weeks. That'll be week five as they host the Tennessee State Tigers. That is their first conference matchup. I will see you guys uh, later on today with my week three recap and week four predictions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. It was ugly, but we're going to go ahead and move on. I can't wait to hear uh, quotes from head coach Marvin Joseph. Any of the players at all that are on the Dolphins, feel free to leave quotes. I will try to get them all in to every video. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'll see you later on today with the Week 3 recap and Week 4 predictions. Take it easy, guys.